So not only is the Emic trunk car fusion coming to a close and I am ready to fuse in, which we will do in this video, but also we are getting a hot new leak from the official Plarium Rage Shadow Legends YouTube channel and they released this short that we see right here. I've got it playing on a loop so you can see it a couple times, but what is happening very clearly to me is that the champion is activating an ability with his weapon and it is spawning duplicates of himself. Those are clearly clones with the exact same outfit and feet and armor. You can kind of see in the shadow that the two characters that spawn behind him when he slams his weapon are going to be duplicates exactly looking the same as him. Because I think what this means is it's not like a passive ability or some sort of thing where it happens on death or something because you clearly see the champion activating an ability which would be like during their turn and then it spawns behind them so maybe it's going to be some sort of like summoning ability i mean you see in games like diablo you've got the necromancer that summons like revives or skeletons or whatever and then sends them to attack their foes i wonder if this is going to be some sort of like rallying summon type thing where he spawns to duplicates of himself and then it'll be some sort of a pseudo ally attack where then he will rush in with his two allies and he will attack with duplicates of himself instead of your allies on the team that would be a new spin on ally attack that we haven't seen before in raid the way it happens currently is you'll team up with one at random or your whole team or whatnot and one character will bring everybody or multiple characters well that can be a little bit underwhelming sometimes because if you team up to do an attack with a support champion they don't really do much their a1 just kind of like slaps someone for 700 damage and it's pointless but this would be a way to do an ally attack where it's guaranteed to bring someone that can scale up their stats with how he is built so would be an interesting mechanic if they do go that route and i think it's a possibility and if you're not in the loop, this is going to be the next promotional champion that Plarium brings to the game as most likely a seven day login reward. So they've done this before for champions like Ronda, Artak, Ultimate Death Knight, things like that, where you log in for seven days during like a two or three month period. And it's used as a promotional tactic to get players a new legendary and especially new players to excite them about playing raid because they are guaranteed a legendary champion. All they have to do is log in seven different days. So hopefully they do a good job on designing him. All in all, I think Plarium has done pretty well on designing the promotional champions. And most of them had a fun and interesting thing that they brought to the game without being like so powerful, so broken that they break PvP or something. Also, there are no more events or tournaments that are going to be going live for Emic. So hopefully you have enough fragments for the Epic Champion to get the four different Fire Gun Champions that you're going to need to put into the Fusion right here because there is going to be no more tournaments or events or anything starting. So what you see, make sure you have it done and you're finishing up to get those fragments because it's going to be a huge bummer if you end up 25 short and you can't go ahead and fuse Emic. And then also it's a perfect time to do it because you're double dipping with CVC. So you're going to get a little bit of points for fusing him up. We can go ahead and do that live in the video. Let's go ahead and pop it. We've got our epics developed. And one thing you want to remember is it does cost, I believe it's a million. It's usually a million. Uh, yeah, a million silver. So don't end up like hyper broke. I know there's an artifact enhancement event going on right now. So if you end up with like 600k silver, you're gonna be like, ah, oh, and then you can't fuse the uh, fusion. So keep in mind, it does cost a million silver and there we go we did it i didn't blow it i had to do all three summon rushes uh but i didn't end up you know with 375 fragments on the last epic or something like i was worried i would do sometimes you like miss one thing and you end up screwing yourself but i did it paid attention and got all the fragments so i'm gonna go ahead and get my emic built here during a cvc and use the books and the ascending and all that to double dip points for the clan versus clan going on and then i will try to get like an infographic and a dedicated guide out on how i built emic and how i'm going to be using him on my account and all that good stuff and there we have our emic but also i want to ask over on the community tab of the channel i'm going to do a poll i want to try to figure out how many of you were able to like see it through and finish the emic fusion since it has started and how that compares to some of the polling we did before the fusion and all that so we can see how the community did here on the fusion as well so if you want to vote on that it'll be over on the community tab of this channel 
some of the other stuff going on in game is you're going to want to start going through the doom tower and focusing on some of those secret rooms and getting your progress kind of wrapped up because we are approaching the final week of the doom tower being live so it's time to start kind of thinking about getting all the different objectives you want to get done and getting as much progress done as you can in the current doom tower there is a couple different tournaments and events going on right now like i said the mx stuff is coming to a close so make sure you focus on that the ice golem turn attack is mostly normal you may want to get to 1150 here on the coins because there's 750 towards your blessings and then a pretty typical sand devil turn attack is going to be going live tomorrow as well and then under the events it is just the artifact enhancement event that you're going to want to make sure you're getting to 4775 if you're going after the emic fusion and then something else that you want to keep in mind now that the fusion is coming to a close is that you want to be careful and start preparing for the next fusion already in case they release another good one it seems like they've kind of ramped up the frequency of the good fusions we've had like the python and the knee shock and the newt and the different ones that are being added to the game and they're all pretty solid they're all usually like top 12 top 15 fusions being added to the game the, the, the fusions are getting better over time as they kind of have to i mean you don't want fusions in 2023 to be worse than fusions in 2019 that wouldn't really make sense if people couldn't progress their rosters but anyway plarium has kind of also ramped up the frequency of the fusions so we will probably already early in the next week start hearing about a test server and things coming for a new champion they'll release like some teaser for the kit or something and then they'll have like a content embargo and you'll see a bunch of creator videos talking about the new champion that'll already be starting probably next week and then as we head in to the end of august or early september they'll probably start the next fusion or fragment whatever event already here probably within like 10 to 15 days then is there anything worth talking about in the shop this is the lesser of the two kind of prices they put on the soul stones mini mix personal this is the normal 2800 energy or the uh refills yep that's a normal one um okay it's nothing super spectacular um da -da 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 -da. eight for 22 no a fit nah. yeah we saw this one no um divine speed actually not the worst thing for super high spenders like people that are in the upper tier of spending probably like some of these speed packs they've fallen out a little bit but uh but usually this is a decent opportunity for uh for, for whales for most of you though this even the discounted speed pack is not going to be optimal spending of your money um let's see no okay and then the claim okay so unfortunately for the majority 90 something percent of you out there really nothing super hype worthy in the shop today so good luck on wrapping up your emic trunk heart fusions i will get content out on the channel diving into how i built him and how i'm going to utilize him on my account and grading him and all of that good stuff the updated version now that we're actually able to finish it and get him on the account let me know your thoughts on the teaser video do you agree or disagree with me and my analysis of what this could mean for him and his kit and all of that good stuff and i will see you soon in the next video have a good rest of your day peace